inside a garage totally shut off from every normal part of living you know we were just in there on our own and that was it really. creating this doing that yeah and you're recording on a four track is that right yeah that's incredible and then uh you all you boys were producing it yourselves well we weren't even producing it to be honest we're recording we it we did it and uh that was it you know <laughs> it was like ooh, are we producers now okay set fine. up the mics and play exactly yeah, aim the mic Play the song, sing it. Lack of money, lack of microphones, lack of any cohesive place to record, you know. It was all too much to disturb the neighbours and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the quiet playing is just like, yeah. okay, it's three in the morning. Literally holding a microphone there. Yeah. Like, chink, 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 shh, Ollie, shh. <laughs> you know, do playing a shake like this. <laughs> all that, so. Don't wake the babies. Yeah. Don't wake the babies up, we'll get the police out. Cause I don't need nobody to know me. I don't think it's just the acoustic nature of the actual sound. I think it's a very different approach to what's been common in British music very recently. The, 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 the uh, oh. mobile phone. We have mobile phones. Yes, you, so you are a technological <laughs> guy. There we are. But we know the, 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 uh, the, the very different from what's been sort of known as the the Brit pop scene around recently, which is very, very different way of approaching music, far more glamorous way of approaching it, far more production orientated way of recording music. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of tailoring things for the radio, tailoring things for this and that, which we haven't really ever been able to do, or, or even would ever want to do. Prize is very different type of prize in print. It's it, it's less of the kind of the, the commercial prizes. It, it it basically belongs to like a group of prizes. Like um, there's the Turner Prize, which is for painting for for artists who paint, and the Booker Prize, which is for literature. And the Mercury Prize is kind of like that kind of high. Mm. It can, I think they think they like to think yeah. it's sort of high. It's kind culture. of what's that? What's that fancy award? Uh, uh, the, no. Ah oh, shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Beep. Nobel Prize. It's the same as the Nobel. It's the Nobel Prize for music. pat on the back for album sales you know it's more of a we've decided this record is important kind yeah. of thing which is weird you know yeah and makes it a little bit more difficult for the people who win it because they have to they can't just go well you know they saw fit to give it to us because we sold loads of records or whatever that's because of the music and it's all very serious and it's kind of strange I'm gonna And not too, uh, not too pompous about music to to exclude humour, you know. I mean, humour is the m most vital part of like being alive. Really, if you haven't got that, so put it in the music.
make a couple of references to places in England, but then you also sing about San Diego, about Tijuana. There's this whole kind of American soul blues aspect to your music. Where does that come from? Got because from you guys living in South Florida? Because well, obviously you sing about places you want to be, not places you are. Who, 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 who when they you know, I always find it strange you now when people, if you ask someone to sit down and write a story, you know, especially children or whatever, they never write a story about you know, like getting up in the morning and eating breakfast and da 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 da. You know, that's, that's, the, that's what creativity is about, what imagination is about. It's not about the kitchen sink, it's about wishing you were somewhere else. Is there a, an aspect of romanticism that you have about Absolutely. America? Absolutely, completely. Because that's where a lot of the music that, well, I mean, a lot of the music that we listen to is from America, just not because it is America, you know, it's not like this big obsession, it's just like, you know, that's where Muddy Waters is from. You know, that's cool with me, you know, I'll listen to it, you know, I don't mind. I'm not nationalistic or, you know, if, if Muddy Waters was from Birmingham, know, Timbuktu or Birmingham or anywhere at all, you know, I'd still listen to it. You know, so, so you just, it's in your language, your culture. So. You can be philosophical about the idea, what, what music actually represents, I think. It's far easier to just kind of go, well, it's like, why do you love, you know, a specific, a beer, a beer? Or, or why do you love a specific poem, or why do you love anything specifically that necessarily doesn't have any sort of clear reason to have connection with you, but it means something to you, and you don't know necessarily why, and you can analyse it, you can rip it apart, and you can, you can be, you know, horribly kind of conservative about the way you approach things like that, but... At the end of the day, you just have that feeling, you know. That, I mean, that's obviously the the the, the, the artistic side of, of 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 making music, you know, rather than the technical side of it, which is an entirely different thing. <laughs> That sounds like a single attitude. It's one idea, which is, which was, which was. It was over a time we were drunk, and we would, you know, we'd probably sat through an episode, a whole episode of Oprah Winfrey like <laughs> zombies, and through an episode of Ricky Lake or something, and we'd kind of gone, oh dear, oh dear, dear. what's going wrong here? Because that was the, the, that was the problem. They are the idea of vulnerability is and entertainment was the, is what that song's about, rather than necessarily the idea of actually being vulnerable itself. There's nothing, obviously there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable. I mean, we are obviously vulnerable. Raise up the anchor!